Good morning, everybody. Today we're making cheddar penny biscuits. And these are delicious, like cheese crackers, but they're really, really good. Um, and they just have a little bit of cayenne pepper in it, but it gives it that wonderful taste. And here we have a whole bunch of Vermont sharp cheddar, which is gonna give it a great flavor. And it's Cabot, that's a really good brand. All right, so um, we just did the hazelnuts and the hazelnut shortbread. We didn't have enough hazelnuts, so we reduced the recipe. So then I thought maybe what we should do is do a recipe where we increase it. So that way you can see how to figure out how to increase the recipe. So it's very common to double a recipe, which would be to multiply by two. It's not so common to triple a recipe or multiply by three. So let's do a triple batch just so we can practice some recipe math. So if we have a half cup of unsalted butter and we're gonna multiply it by three, then we need three times 0.5 is 1.5. So one and a half cups of butter. And then two cups of cheddar cheese times three, two times three equals six. So we need six cups of cheddar cheese. This is butter. Now two thirds of a cup of flour times three. Two thirds times three. Now this is a little tricky. I wish I had a whiteboard so I could show you guys how to do it. So hold on a second. I'm gonna get a scrap of paper. Okay, so two thirds times three equals, so three times two is six over three. So six over three equals, if there's three over three, that would be one, and then another three would be six, so that's two cups, okay? So all-purpose flour, two-thirds times three equals two cups. Of course, you can do this with a calculator, and two-thirds of a cup is 0.66 times three, and that will give you two cups, okay? A quarter teaspoon of salt times three is three-quarters of a teaspoon and one quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper is three quarters of a teaspoon cayenne pepper. All right, so now that's how you multiply by three. You wanna increase your recipe, you wanna triple it, that would be how you do it. All right, so now we are gonna figure out the um, weight of our flour at two thirds of a cup. And then we can also then multiply that by three. That's another way to figure out our measurements. So this is a one third cup. And I'm gonna... So two thirds of a cup of flour equals 3.1, 3 point, let's say 3.10 ounces, okay? So if we wanna multiply that, by three, that would be 9.30 ounces, okay? So two cups of flour should equal 9.30 ounces. So we can just measure that by weight now, and that way our recipe will be consistently that amount every time we make it. So we have our flour, and here is our cayenne pepper and our salt. And we're just gonna pour that right into this bowl. And then we can stir that together. So that way it'll be well blended before we add it into our cheddar and butter. And luckily, I already have got the butter in here. So we're gonna mix that until it's soft and low speed. And then we will add in the cheese and then finally in the flour. So luckily for me, this has two cups shredded cheese is eight ounces. So we know for in the future, 
we want one and a half pounds of cheddar cheese. So should we not be able to find it cut just like this? We could get a, a block of cheddar and shred it ourselves, and then we would know the weight. So we're gonna get that butter nice and soft, and then I'm gonna add in the cheddar cheese and mix all of that together. All right, I've added all of our cheese to our mixing bowl, and I've already softened the butter. So we're gonna get this mixed together now. And when that's completely mixed in, then I'm gonna add in our flour mixture and just mix that until that is combined. So that's completely mixed in. I've already scraped down the sides and now we're going to add in our flour mixture. when you do it with one hand. Anyhow, this is why you should always have a clean work surface because if you do spill it on the counter, then you can swipe it up and add it in. Our flour is in. We're going to turn it on and let it mix. Now, normally I don't like to over mix anything with flour uh, when we're making cookies because I don't want the gluten to work to develop and get tough. But this is, we want this more like a cracker. So I am not too worried about overworking the gluten because I want this to be a little bit firmer. I don't want it to be a delicate cookie, a flaky, I want it to be a bit firmer, like more like a cracker. Um, so I'm gonna let this mix a bit longer than I would normally. Make sure it's completely mixed in. There's a lot of cheese in there. And I don't want this to crumble and fall apart after we bake it. What we're going to do with our batter is we're going to roll it into a log. So I took about one third, since we did a triple batch, I did about one third of the batter onto the piece of parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a log because after it chills, we'll slice the log so we'll get little round crackers and then we can bake them. So for this stage though, I need two hands, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna form this into a log. So I'm gonna use the parchment paper to help me. And we're gonna start by forming this into a rectangle and then we'll use the parchment paper to help us roll this out thinner and thinner. We wanted about a one inch diameter log. So once I get that spread out, I then can start using the parchment paper to roll it back and forth. So one second. So now I'm gonna use the parchment paper to continue to roll this. And this will help make a log. So I'm gently pressing down as I'm rolling it and making it rounder. Now the tables are getting bunched up so you can loosen the paper, roll it again. You may find that if the batter is too warm, it's not working very well, you might have to put the batter into the refrigerator and let it set up 